Thank you very much, Paul. Yes, we're now into the Q&A part of our program. So at this point, I would like to invite you to continue to send in a question or comment using the panel on the right-hand side of your screen. And here we have a question for you, Paul. How are regulatory requirements driving this process? And can you talk a little bit more about quality by design? Um, I can talk a little bit about the quality by design. And quality by design is a very big umbrella that really is nothing more than uh, what a lot of people in the industry have been doing for uh, many, many years. It's basically you're trying to scientifically be able to, as we mentioned, determine your design, design space and be able to scientifically say, these are my operating parameters and this is why um, you want to operate it in, in that range. And it can go, quality by design uh, really starts when you're doing excipient compatibility work all the way through to your scale up into commercialization. Um, excipient compatibility is really part of quality by design. You're starting at the very beginning and saying, these excipients are going to be compatible with my uh, drug. And this, this is why. And we've done the testing to show that. And then you really build upon that as you go through the development process. And the other part of that question was, um, how are regulatory requirements driving this process? Um, basically, everything we do is really driven by uh, uh, regulatory requirements. That, that's really what GMP is all about. But beyond the regulatory requirements, um, when you're dealing with something that you're going to commercialize and that you want to be able to make um, 10 batches a year, 20 batches a year, um, however many batches a year that you need, then you really want to build as much science into that as possible. And the other part of that is with now with having the SUPAC guidelines, um, we can make changes in the commercial process and formulation if need be without having to go and get prior approval. You can do a lot of things now with uh, CBE or change by effect and you can just file that to your NDA and as I mentioned then you don't have to get prior approval for that type of, of change. So that's really the big advantage of doing a lot of this and doing it by uh, so-called quality by design is then you can use things to your advantage when you get into commercialization such as the SUPAC guidelines. That's good. Thank you very much. And that is all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank everyone for attending today's webinar. And don't worry if you missed part of Paul's presentation. Simply visit www.excellience.com where you can download any of our archived scientific seminars. If you want to share this presentation with your colleagues, simply note their name and email address in the post-webinar survey. We will then send them a link to the archived presentation. Please join me in thanking our speaker for today, Dr. Paul Skultati, who is Director of Pharmaceutical Development Services at Excellience. You will notice that a post-event survey will pop up on your screen at the end of today's seminar. Please fill out this survey because we would really appreciate your feedback as well as your suggestions for future webinar topics.